Hi, this is June from Planet June and today I'm going to show you how to do a reverse single crochet. Reverse single crochet is also known as crab stitch and it makes a twisted cord edging around the edge of your work. It's very neat and easy to do. This is a lip balm holder but as the stitches are so small I'm going to demonstrate using a slightly larger piece. Here's a crocheted piece that I've been working on. Reverse single crochet is very similar to a normal single crochet, except instead of working right to left, you actually work back along the row the way you've come. So here I've reached the end of my row in single crochet. I'm going to chain one and then to work my reverse single crochet edging, I'm going to work back along the way I've come. So what you do is insert your hook into the previous stitch, so that's the last one you worked into here. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Now yarn over and draw through both loops on the hook to complete the stitch. That's one reverse single crochet completed. So we insert our hook into the previous stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop then yarn over and draw through both loops on the hook to complete the stitch. It's exactly the same as a normal single crochet except you're inserting your hook back into the previous stitch before drawing up a loop of yarn. You can see that the edging you create has no v-shapes at the top of the stitches. It's a finished edging makes a twisted cord effect. So we'll just finish the row. Insert your hook into the previous stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through both loops on the hook. Insert hook into previous stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through both. And that's reverse single crochet.